All right, we're going. So what do you know about residential schools? So I don't really know much about residential schools, but I think it's like schools for communities, like specific communities, and for specific cultures or something like that. But I don't really know anything about that. That's just a guess. Um, residential schools are um, schools for residents of Canada, I think. I don't, I don't really know. Um, um, native people that are residents of Canada went to these residential schools. All so right, what quiet, do you know guys. about residential schools? That like the Aboriginals, I, all I know is that like they have to do something with Aboriginals. Like, so like if they're in camps, like that's the school for the camp. Go. So residential schools, I know that native people, well the government took native people, well kids out of their families and put them into schools until they were like 16 or 18, depending on them. And then boys and girls were separate. Some of them, I know like, some of them died there, and then they weren't even, uh, the families weren't told about the kids' deaths, and oh yeah, and also they, the kids were away from the family, and rarely seen them like twice or a year or something like that, and, they, and the purpose of the schools was like to make these kids, the, the kids more civil, civilians, I guess, <laughs> civilized, I mean, so, yeah. Let's go. So what do you know about residential schools? Well, I think like residential schools were a place for Aboriginal students and like they were treated really badly, they were abused and stuff like that. And how many students do you think attended these schools? Probably maybe like 2,000 maybe in total. So there's actually 150,000 First Nation, Métis, and Inuit students. What? What? That's crazy. Yeah. Wow.